June 20th is World Refugee Day, a day designed and organized by the United Nations to recognize, celebrate, and honor refugees from around the world. This reading list is one that honors refugee stories for all ages through both fiction and nonfiction works. All of these books can be either found in our e-library or requested through your local NLPL branch. A finalist for the 2018 Governor General's Literary Award in Canada Reads 2019, Holmes, a refugee story of Abu Bakr al-Rabiya with Winnie Young, tells the story of how a family left one home in Iraq to find safe refuge in Syria, only to have war explode around them in that home before finally making their way to Canada. A finalist for Canada Reads 2020, We Have Always Been Here, a queer Muslim memoir by Samra Habib, explores the idea of finding a safe refuge to be yourself. From growing up in Pakistan to coming to Canada with her family as refugees, Samra shares her personal exploration of faith, art, love, and queer sexuality. We Are Displaced, My Journey and Stories from Refugee Girls Around the World by Malala Yousafzai is part memoir, part communal storytelling. Malala reflects on her own displacement, first as an internally displaced person when she was a young child in Pakistan, and then as an international activist who could travel anywhere in the world except to the home she loved, while also collecting together the stories of displaced girls who have lost their community, relatives, and often the only world they've ever known. Night of Power by Anar Ali is a portrait of a Muslim family. From the heady days in Uganda to hard times in a new country and the tragic accident that forces them to confront the ghosts of the past, it explores the injustices of displacement and the nuances of identity. Winner of the Journey Prize and a Canada Reads 2018 finalist, The Boat People by Sharon Bala is a morally complex novel that explores what happens when a group of refugees, having survived a perilous ocean voyage to reach Canada in the hopes of a new life, must instead face the threat of deportation and accusations of terrorism. A Globe and Mail Best Books of the Year title for 2011, The Free World by David Bezmoskis, tells the story of a family of three generations of Russian Jews who have escaped the Iron Curtain into Italy in the late 1970s, in order to secure visas to the West. Winner of the 2010 Governor General's Award for French Language Fiction and Canada Reads 2015, Rue by Kim Tui tells the story of a young woman forced to leave her Saigon home during the Vietnam War. From an affluent Saigon neighborhood to a crowded Malaysian refugee camp and then to Quebec. NLPL has both English and French versions of this book available. Sea Prayer by Khaled Hosseini is a beautiful work of illustrated short fiction. Composed in the form of a letter from a father to his son on the eve of their journey, it is a tribute to the refugees who have lost their lives, as well as to those refugees who continued their journey after losing everything else. Inspired by the real-life story of one of the lost boys of Sudan, A Hair in the Elephant's Trunk by Jan L. Coates tells the story of Jacob. It is 1987, and Jacob is thriving in a little village in South Sudan with his family until the night the war arrives, bringing with it fire and death. Jacob flees for his life, spending years walking through deserts, grasslands and forests, crossing crocodile-infested rivers, and surviving life in massive refugee camps, determined to escape the cycle of violence that afflicts his country. Three different kids, in three different times all with one goal, escape. Refugee by Alan Gratz follows the stories of Joseph, a Jewish boy in 1930s Nazi Germany as he and his family board a ship bound for the other side of the world. Isabel, a Cuban girl hoping to escape the riots and political unrest plaguing her country in 1994 by setting out with her family on a raft headed to America. And Mahmoud, a Syrian boy who begins a trek toward Europe with his family in 2015 after his homeland is torn apart by violence and destruction. It's 1947, and India, newly independent of British rule, has been separated into two countries, Pakistan and India, resulting in hundreds of thousands of people crossing borders, 
many killed on the way. The Night Diary by Vera Hiranandani tells the story of 12-year-old Nisha, half Muslim, half Hindu, who doesn't know where she belongs or what her country is anymore. My Beautiful Birds by Suzanne Del Rizzo tells the story of Sammy as he and his family leave their home in search of safety. Sammy worries about his pet pigeons and finds settling into life in the refugee camp hard without them until a canary, a dove, and a rose finch fly into the camp. I'm New Here by Anne Sibley O'Brien looks at how our global community can work together and build a home for all through the eyes of three young children. Maria is from Guatemala, Jin is from Korea, and Fatima is from Somalia. New to their American elementary school, they each have trouble speaking, writing, and sharing ideas in English, but soon gain confidence in their new country without losing a sense of their home country, language, or identity.